Hello and welcome to our SmileFi webinar. Today, we will talk about how to create your own dental walks-ups using in-office workflows, using uh, the digital tools that you already have in your practice, such as your intraoral scan, your iPhone to take the picture, your iPad to take the picture, or your DSLR camera. I'm Dr. Diogo Alves, and to me, it's a pleasure to have all of you guys here I know digital dentistry, it's a very interesting topic to all of us, and there is no way back. So my goal here in this 45 minutes is to show you how you can start creating your own digital workflows using this Myofi software. If you haven't downloaded Myofi, Myofi is available on App Store, and it's available for you for free. Uh, free for you to, to practice, to test using our practice patients. Um, you can download it on your iPhone, iPad, or MacBook. Well, so we know that creating dental walks up is always important for us to determine our treatment plan. Um, there are cases where we will go over only cosmetic cases, which is food aesthetics, just to increase the volumes of some teeth, just to reshape and give a, a youth look to the patient's uh, aesthetics. Other dental wax ups are for us to identify a more complete uh, type of treatment, uh, such as in this case, as you guys can see here in this initial situation, a patient with a very uh, uneven smile with the contouring of the gingival margins completely unshaped and uh, misshaped teeth. And then with a diagnostic wax ups, we are able to fully give a comprehensive treatment to our patient, make them fully understand the need for a more complete full mouth rehabilitation rather than just going for what the patient is looking for. Dental wax ups are also a great choice for those pa patients who are in that transition, uh, going from a restorative treatment, uh, but passing through an orthodontic treatment first. It is always important to show the patient uh, how the final outcome will look like after you position the patient's teeth, after you align the patient's teeth, and after you perform the veneers or the crowns, whatever you, you think that it's the best for your patient's treatment. Diagnostic wax up is also very important for cases where you're doing a full mouth rehabilitation, especially when the anterior teeth are going to be done with porcelain veneers, and by creating this porcelain uh, veneer guides through your dental wax up, you get more assertive onto the patient's final outcome. Not only that, but it also you also give the patient a chance to try on this, this new smile to have the sense and the feeling of what's going to happen after you finalize the treatment. But the problem that we face today is that a lot of time, a lot of times when you perform your dental wax ups, um, usually you do this type of workflow, the one that you have seen here on the screen. Basically, you do the patient exam, you check on occlusion, uh, you set up all the x rays, you do all of your diagnostics, set up a treatment plan to your patient, then you send this patient's records um, to your dental lab for them to create the diagnostic wax up. The lab then will take probably like one week, sometimes even longer, just uh, to deliver the dental wax up for you. Um, but there is a problem, there is an issue that happens in this type of workflow. One of this, the main issue, uh, if we go all the way from that first step, is that once you deliver uh, this patient's exam and you tell the patient uh, in written what is the treatment plan, most cases the patient do not fully comprehend the treatment. And the reason why it's because they cannot visualize what you are explaining to this patient. Most likely you as a dentist will take your time and you will bring all of the efforts to give the patient the best treatment plan, the best full mouth rehabilitation for them. But since the patient cannot see what's happening, what pro the problem is that 
most likely the patient does not uh, go for the treatment that you are proposing, or if they go with the treatment that you are proposing, most likely they will not fully comprehend until they see the finals. And the problem of that is also sometimes when you finalize the whole treatment, your patient maybe will not like the, the, the work that you did, the patient maybe will, will want to change on something. So the problem could start right from that first consultation. But let's say that you move forward to the next step and you send over the some of the patient's photograph, you send uh, the intraoral scan or the mouth impression to your lab. What happens with uh, that type of uh, communication that you give to your lab is that you give a broken communication to them, which means that when you deliver you know, separate files, separate documents to, you, to the lab, they have to put all these pieces together to then deliver the dental wax up that you are looking for. But then the problem is that most of the dental technicians do not have any facial reference to the dental wax up that you are creating. And that leads to the problem of bringing this back and forthness between the lab and the doctor. Then you have to call the patient in, you place the mock-up in, or you initiate already the treatment, and then the patient doesn't like it, or maybe the mock-up doesn't fit. And then you have to keep doing more adjustments and you send it at, back to the lab. Let me know here in the chat, we have a chat, and I wanna know if you guys can relate to these problems. Have you ever had any, any experience where you have collected all the patient's information, sent it to your lab, then when you receive the, the file back, you have to redo the whole thing, send it back to the lab, and then do this back and forthness, making the treatment much longer. Let me know if you have this question, this uh, issue also in your practice, just put here in a chat because I want to give you guys a new mindset, a new workflow um, in order for you to perform better treatment plans to your patients. Smileify is the software that allows every dentist to better communicate with the lab, with the patient, and with other dental specialists through virtual treatment plans. What does that mean? It means that once you collect all of the patient's information, you place them all into the software, and then you transform all of your treatment that you wrote down into a virtual diagnostic treatment plan to print and place on your patient's mouth for better evaluation. And as you can see here, instead of promoting and showing it, showing the treatment plan to your patient through a, just through, through, through the word of mouth, you also show the patient how the final outcome will look like. First, by simulating the patient's smile, you simply take a picture of a patient, you set the frame over the patient's smile, and you deliver this smile simulation, to then moving forward to actually perform the dental wax up into the patient's mouth. So I'm going to share my, my screen and I'm going to open Smileify, Smileify software here on the MacBook. Oh, I see here that some doctors are saying that the chat is deactivated. Let me see what I can show chat previews. Well, I apologize. We still have the Q&A here um, where I can see you guys, all right? So I can see all of your questions in the Q&A session. So if you're not able to chat in the chat box, just send me here a Q&A session, all right? Um, so here I open my Smileify on my MacBook, but the software is available on your iPad iPhone and MacBook. Okay, so I'm going to open
here and I will initiate my treatment plan by by uploading my patient's facial photograph. So in that first consultation, I tell my patient that I have here a software that allows me to preview the patient's smile. And all I need to do is to take a frontal picture of my patient to restart designing. The power of visualization is very beneficial, not only for you, but also for the patient because they can give certain tips on how they would look to, they would like to have their future smile. As you can see here, um, the smile simulation is powered by the artificial intelligence. So after you take a picture of your patient, you set the frame. So you place this frame on top of the patient's existing teeth, and then the software will automatically give you four different designs for you to keep working on. So here, for example, I'm going to select the fourth option, which is here on the bottom right corner. And then all I have to do is to check on some coloring, making make any adjustments that I want, such as reducing the, the number of teeth for my case, or select different teeth shapes. And it's pretty much it, okay? So what is the important importance of initiating your dental wax up workflow by creating a smile simulation first? The smile simulation, as the name says, it simulates the patient's smile. So it gives me a preview of what I could achieve in my dental wax up. Notice over here that I have a patient with a inverted smile, which is a young patient with wrong teeth proportions on the centrals, laterals, and, and on the canines. In my clinical exam, I also noticed that the patient was not doing a proper canine guidance. She was doing a premolar guidance, which is totally wrong as we all know. So if I can create a quick smile simulation, Instead of telling my patient that we need to do a crown lengthening, I can show my patient that we need a crown lengthening by creating this as my simulation. I tap on next. And my, my simulation is complete. So here is the first step of my treatment plan. So why is this my simulation important? because it gives the patient and myself a better idea on what type of teeth shape my patient would like to have, about crown lengthening, um, about the number, the, the, the number of teeth that I want to have in this treatment plan. Notice here that also the teeth that is that was selected, it's a square, um, somewhat uh, oval shape here on the cervical margins. Um, which gives me already a better idea on what teeth shape I will select for my dental wax up. Um, just by creating here, thus my simulation, notice that now we are getting a better smile curvature on the incisal edge of my anterior teeth. And for the patient, this becomes a great way for her to understand the power of delivering a more full rehabilitation rather than just doing, let's say one tooth here, or maybe just like a whitening or a cleaning. My next stage is for me to then insert my patient's intraoral scan. I'm going to add here, I'll save the case.
And now here, I'm going to open my patients folder, okay? And my next step will be to now initiate my dental OXA. As I was telling you guys in the beginning, um, our goal here is to make a workflow much simpler. So within just one minute, I was able to deliver my, my simulation, of course. If you wanna spend some more time with it, just to you know, do some brainstorming with other dental specialists, you can. But the simulation is just a preview, just like an architect when he comes into your practice and he do that first consultation, it is the same thing in dentistry. This my simulation will guide you, give you an idea on what you what you want to achieve in your treatment plan. Okay, so then my next step is to upload my patient's intraoral scan. The photo was already taken when I created my my simulation, so I don't have to do two pictures. I only do one picture. And then here in the boxes, as you guys can see, everything has the name on top of it. I have here IO scan maxilla. And then you can upload your patient's files straight from your Google Drive, your Dropbox, or if you have a, a matted link or a three shape, you can also do a direct connection, which means you upload, you scan the patient's mouth with using a trio three shape or your medit, and you open here. For example, me, right? I have here a medit link, medit scanner. I simply go over here. I add my credentials, and I upload the patient's files straight from medit software to my smile file. All right, so here I have the upper intraoral scan. And here is the lower intraoral scan. Diego, sorry, can you help Samia to get in, please? I did. Thank ah, thank you. And then um, I see a lot of doctors trying to understand, all right, but how do you how do you merge those files together? How do you calculate these files for you to deliver the dental wax up? Well, as you can see, it's pretty simple. I go over here and I have to set three points on my intraoral scan and then three points on my photo. By the way, I'm doing this live. For you guys to see, I hit set points and the calculation is basically done. What is the benefit of delivering your dental walks up using your patient's photograph? Instead of going blindly with the facial references, now you have the intraoral scan, which is your patient's uh, maxilla, and also the facial. A picture of a patient to guide you on the position of the center incisors, for example, the curvature of smile, for example, and the aesthetics, the overall aesthetics of your treatment plan. Not only that, but look over here, for example, in the centrals, I am not able to visualize the patient's cervical margin, but if I have my intraoral scan, I will be able to visualize everything, even if the lip is covering. So now that I have calibrated my files, let's begin our 3D smile design. I will select here 3D smile design. I will upload the patient's files that I already have. 
And then you can do an upper and lower dental wax up, just the lower wax up or just the upper wax up. Today I will show you guys the upper dental wax up. So I select upper design. With the dental design, the first steps are pretty simple. All I have to do is to preset the teeth position. by using the frame arch from an occlusal view first. Then I will now set the proportions and the occlusal angulation of my dental wax up. So notice over here on the right side that I have um, all these different toggles, right? Is these different uh, buttons here for you to slide to the left and to the right that will tell you what to do. So we have here, for example, height, ratio, the curvature of your smile, the dental midline, the occlusal plane, And remember that we were talking about the patient needing uh, crown length and the incisal edge. See this line over here at the bottom? That already shows me where the incisal edge of my dental wax up will be located. Now, I select the number of teeth that I want for my dental wax up. In this case, I'm gonna do uh, six units from canine to canine. I tap on generate smile and my dental wax up is almost ready, all right? Now you have already here the teeth proportions in place. We have the height in place. We have the curvature in place. Then the next step is to do final adjustments onto the dental wax up. So uh, a new feature that we that we have added um, about like 10 days ago is the workflow. So if you look over here on the top, you will be able to follow the workflow. So here first, we select the teeth templates and you have you can select from different teeth templates. You can mix them up. You can preview the teeth shape to check its morphology before uh, placing here for you to test. So once you select the teeth shape the best match, matches the patient's face, the next step is to go here on the top uh, in tools. And then in tools, you will be able to make any adjustments that you need. So for example, I'm rotating the teeth a little. So the margins follow my patient's existing cervical margins. For example, here on this canine, I'm rotating it a bit. OK, 
Okay, and the good thing is that everything is facially driven. So you, you have the patient's face here to see how your dental wax up is going so far, all right? Then, since it's, a, since it's a dental wax up, I cannot visualize the dental wax up only from a frontal view. So I can here have all these four different views for me to check on how the dental wax up is looking from an occlusal view, from a 12 o'clock view, from a profile view. Here, for example, Diego, I want to- Diego, yes. sorry for, for interrupt. The, the doctors are saying that they cannot uh, access the chat, that it's disabled. So just please check. Thank you. Correct. So please just use the Q&A, guys and uh, we will be able to answer all of your questions, okay? So here, as you guys can see, the dental wax up is all, almost ready. I have now here my laterals that I can make them slightly longer. All I have to do here is to use the height and I'll, I'll make it longer. I will need to adjust here my centrals. They were slightly vestibularized. Then the next step is for you to check on the height and width of your dental wax up. Over here on the right side, we have measurements. So here, for example, we are at 11. 11 millimeters of height. Eight millimeters of width. I can change the opacity of my upper design. and measure, for example, how many millimeters I'm increasing. So for example, here, it's about 1.7. On my lateral, it's about 1.9 millimeter. You can turn the dental walks up. Here, I just need to bring this over here. And you can also take the measurement of your canine, for example. And if you have to make some adjustments, let's say you want to decrease the length of the central, for example, I simply tap on the tooth. And I change its size. Okay. You can always use this frame. You see this line here at the bottom you can always use that as a reference for your dental wax up. That way you keep following the curvature of the smile according to your planning. Or you can delete that and work freely as well. Now here on my last step, which is called the mash editor, I can do the final adjustments to it. It's just like doing a, a dental carving, um, like a regular wax up, but digital. This last step, it's for you to check on embrasures. It's for you to uh, check on the cervical margin, see if the contact points are in proper position.
So for example, over here in pink is my patient's tooth. So I can use my brush and adjust it, okay? Same thing over here. Okay, I can simply add a little bit of waxing if I want to. I can turn it to the side, check on uh, every detail. See here in the cervical margin? Very simple. We come here and deform. I just need to, I need, I need to pull, pull it in. Slightly curved so I can make it more flat to give a better passage of the light. All 3D design that you create using Smiley have uh, natural teeth morphology. So notice that you already have the grooves, you already, you already have the mammalums, but if you want to fully customize it, You can exacerbate the line angles, for example. Same thing over here, same thing over there. And now you have a much nicer transition. Okay, this is optional if you guys want to do it or not. Okay, here we can check on the occlusion. make any final adjustments. For example, I need to remove this excess here on the palatal area. I simply use the flattened brush and with my mouse or with your Apple Pencil, if you're using the iPad version, you can delete all the excess of, it, of your diagnostic wax up, okay? Um, this patient, we need to bring back the canine guidance. So here, as you can see, the canine, it's slightly longer than it should be. Then that's the reason why we need a dental uh, walks up, right? For us to uh, do the final proving in the patient's mouth. So here, I'm recreating the shape of my patient's canine. And that's it, you guys. It is done. I will hit apply. Now, following our step-by-step -step here on the top, we did the templates, we adjusted the height with the tools, we did this my analysis by checking on um, height and width, we did the mesh editor um, to finalize it and remove all the excess, customize it. And then now the final step here, we go in preset and you select the type of dental wax up that you want. You can uh, 3D print mock-up shells, which are kind of like this napon. Um, it's like a very thin provisional layer that you place over the patient's teeth. Yeah, the software will automatically generate it for you. You can create a full mock-up, which will come with the whole base plus the teeth design. You can do uh, composite as well, uh, veneers, uh, temps, um, and any other type of dental wax up that you want to create. The design um, becomes ready to print as we already close the mesh for you guys. So here, for example, I'll create the here uh, closed model for you. As, as you guys can see right now, we can see the inner side of our intraoral scan. So the software, which is one of a kind, this new feature, cuts you a lot of time. A lot of times you guys have to design and then send it to a, a mesh mixer just to close the mesh, do the final edits. Here, the uh, Smiley software will calculate all the buttons, will calculate the entire design, 
and we'll create a tabletop so you don't have to close the mesh, um, making your workflow much simpler, making your workflow much faster. From here, as you guys can see now, it's at, at this, its finalizing stage. You will now send it straight to your dental 3D printer. We have a direct connection with Accurata, with Nextdent from 3D Systems, with Sprint Ray, with Desktop Health, with Formlabs, with Aziga, with Flash Forb, Forge, and with Anycubic. So if you have any of these 3D printers, as soon as you hit one of these 3D printers, the file, the model that you just created will go straight into your 3D printer app for you to create the, the grids and 3D print them, right? But if you do not have any of these 3D printers, it's not a problem. Smileify um, is an open system, which means even if you don't have any of these 3D printers, you can still export these files. Here, I'm going to do a mockup, for example. You will export these files into your Google Drive, for example. You will send it to your email um, for you to share it and then send it to your lab for them to, to 3D print. So here, for example, I'll tap export. And then I will just hit save. It will go straight into my computer. I can just send it to my own personal 3D printer, 3D print the models for me to perform the mock-up guide, okay? So basically, um, what I wanna show you guys is a very fast workflow. It's a new way of performing dentistry in your practice from uh, creating this smile simulation all the way to delivering your own dental walks up. You are now able to create everything with an in-office workflow. So to summarize what I have um, shared with you guys today, the software allows you to create a AI's Maya simulation. And as you could see, it's very fast. Um, as you know, all you need, it's a frontal smiling picture of your patient. The benefits are endless. You motivate your patient, you educate the patient. Uh, you have a preview of the patient's treatment plan, uh, writing that first consultation. Then you move forward to your 3D dental walks up. And then in the 3D dental walks up, all you need, it's a frontal facial picture of the patient and an intraoral scan. If you have a medit, if you have a 303 shape, you can upload these files automatically into Smiofy. But if you don't have these intraoral scanners, let's say you have Itero, you have any other type of uh, intraoral scanners, you can simply export these files from your, from your iTero, for example, and then upload it into a Google Drive, a Dropbox, um, into Smilefy. So it works with any uh, intraoral scan. Then you start to 3D design your cases. You could select different types of dental wax ups. You can create multiple dental wax ups using the same files. All you have to do is to design export, print, design, change a couple of, modif do a couple of modifications, send it to the printer and then perform multiple wax up trials if you like, for example, and then use it, uh, our direct connections with the 3D printers that we have or outsource it to your lab for them to 3D print. Okay, so here, for example, as you can see, this is a model that I 3D printed and look how natural it looks. Um, in this case, I used a silicone key with a pro temp by 3M with a bleached shade to show my patient the uh, a preview of their future smile. Um, in this case, for example, the patient, she wasn't really sure if she wanted to perform the gingivectomy or not. So I created two different dental wax ups um, exactly how you guys saw it before. I 3D printed both of them at the same time. 
And then on the second consultation, the patient came in to perform two mock-up trials within 30 minutes frame. Um, for us, it's great because it gives us a better understanding of you know, what the patient actually is looking for. It gives us, a, the ch gives us the chance to educate the patient towards a more comprehensive workflow. And it gives the patient the chance to see themselves and choose for themselves uh, what type of treatment they would like to have. Here, as you could see, um, the teeth that comes out looks very natural. And that's because the, the design that you design on SmileFi have already natural teeth shapes. So all the details um, that are designed into SmileFi will be exported and it will be a copy, exactly copy of the design. An exactly copy of the design will be in the patient's mouth. Okay, um, and it's always super important for you to just do some fun functional adjustments towards your dental walks up. So that way you have a, a biocopy of the future restoration of the future treatment plan. It's also important for you to cut um, the putty exactly here at the gingival margins and the cervical margins. That way, uh, whenever you remove the dental wax up, you'll be able to visualize the mock-up in the best way possible. And then of course, um, once you perform this type of workflow, not only you win because you are now performing a treatment plan that makes much more sense for yourself, but your patient also becomes much happier because they're participating throughout the journey of their smile makeover. Here, I showed you an example of a dental wax up for six units, but let's say you have a crown, just like a single crown or two conoid teeth. You can design um, for simple cases, such as like a one unit, all the way to upper and lower full arch. Okay, and the benefit of it is that being a SmileFi member, it means that you can design unlimited cases. You can add unlimited cases into the software and export unlimited dental wax ups for your, for your uh, workflows. Along with these, these features that I showed you guys, um, SmileFi also has other advanced features such as designing just the lower, as I said it before, a CBCT viewer. Um, you can export different files, not only the dental wax up itself, but you can export uh, just the teeth itself to share it with your lab. You can uh, do a period analysis by adding also the CT scan into your SmileFi software. That way you have a more comprehensive treatment plan. And SmileFi is it. SmileFi is here to give you uh, better workflows, faster workflows. We know that now uh, the patients, right, they want to participate in the treatment. They want to know more about what's happening in the treatment plan. Um, and using SmileFi in your practice not only saves you a lot of time, but it also saves you from a lot of stress as you are here creating a document of your patient's treatment throughout the entire workflow. This is uh, Dr. Samia's contact. If you have any questions regarding your uh, becoming a SmileFi member, become, regarding also getting the online Smile Designer certification course, please send her a WhatsApp message in this phone number, plus one three zero two. 4656579. There's also her email. You can also talk to Dr. George at george at smifi.com. He'll be able to help you with any questions that you may have. Okay. So thank you guys very much. I appreciate uh, your time and appreciate you being here with us at this MyFi webinar today. I see you next time.